Welcome to Biology at Ease. This video is part 6 of Life Processes Lecture Series. In this video, I will be explaining the process of excretion. Starting with the definition, excretion is the process of removal of waste products from the body of an organism. The process of excretion takes place in both plants as well as animals. So let's start with excretion in plants. The main excretory products in plants are carbon dioxide, oxygen and water vapor. Carbon dioxide is excreted by the plants at night by the process of respiration. Oxygen is excreted by the process of photosynthesis which takes place during the daytime. Water vapor is excreted by the process called transpiration and this transpiration process occurs all the time that is during day as well as at night. Besides respiration, photosynthesis and transpiration, there are various other mechanisms by which plants excrete the waste products from their body. For example, some of the waste products are stored in the leaves and fruits part of the plant and by felling of the fruits and shedding of the leaves, the waste products are excreted from the plant body. Plants also excrete the waste products in the soil present around them. So this is how excretion occur in plants. Now let's move to excretion in animals. In simple animals like amoeba, the excretion of carbon dioxide occurs by diffusion which takes place through cell membrane which is also known as plasma membrane. Whereas the nitrogenous waste like ammonia is excreted by a unit which is known as contractile vacuole. In earthworms, the excretion occurs through moist skin and besides moist skin, tubular structures called nephridia helps in excretion of waste products. In human beings, kidneys are responsible for excretion. Human beings contain one pair of kidney that is two kidneys are present in humans and each kidney consists of one million nephrons which are the small structures present inside the unit. So in human beings, nephrons are the excretory unit which helps in removal of waste products. Now let's study in detail human excretory system. The main excretory products produced in human beings are carbon dioxide and urea. Carbon dioxide is excreted by human body by the process of respiration and lungs are responsible for excretion of carbon dioxide whereas urea is excreted by kidneys and urea is the major excretory product produced by human beings. So that is why kidneys are known as the main excretory organs in human body. Besides kidneys, the human excretory system also contains two tubes which are known as ureter, a bag-like structure called bladder and a tube which is known as urethra. The dirty blood containing the waste products like urea, excess of salt and excess of water enters the kidney through renal artery. Inside the kidney, this blood containing the waste product is filtered and the waste products then forms a yellowish liquid which is known as urine. This urine then passes to ureter and stored in a bag-like structure called bladder. From bladder, the urine passes to the tube called urethra and this urethra is the region from where the urine is excreted from our body. So this is how the human excretory system works. Now let's study in detail the main structure of human excretory system that is kidney and the functional units present inside the kidneys which are known as nephron. Kidneys are bean shaped structures present towards our back just above the waist. We have a pair of kidneys that is two kidneys are present in human beings and the kidneys are reddish brown in color weighing about 120 to 170 gram. The functional unit of kidney are known as nephron and each kidney consists of 1 million nephron. The kidneys receive dirty blood from renal artery and inside the kidneys the nephron filters the dirty blood and the clean blood is then passed from the kidneys into our bloodstream with the help of renal vein. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidney. They are the main site for excretion in human beings. There are majorly two parts of nephron, Malpighian body and renal tubule. The Malpighian body consists of a network of capillaries which is known as glomerulus and this glomerulus is surrounded by a cup-like 
thick structure which is known as Bowman's capsule. So glomerulus and Bowman's capsule together forms Melphigian body which is also known as Melphigian corpuscle. The second major part of nephron is renal tubule. Renal tubule is further divided into three types of tubules. PCT which stands for proximal convoluted tubule, loop of Henle and distal convoluted tubules. All these three tubules are responsible for transporting the urine from the Melphigian body to the collecting duct where urine is finally stored. Now, there are three steps in the formation of urine. These are ultrafiltration, selective reabsorption and tubular secretion. Ultrafiltration is the process by which the dirty blood is filtered inside the kidney and glomerulus is the site for ultrafiltration. So, the blood is filtered inside the glomerulus. After ultrafiltration, the clean blood then comes out from the kidney with the help of renal vein. The waste products forms a yellowish color liquid which is known as urine and this urine from the glomerulus present inside the Bowman's capsule then passes to PCT which stands for proximal convoluted tubule. Inside the proximal convoluted tubule selective reabsorption of materials takes place for example salts, water are absorbed by the PCT and excess of salt, urea and excess of water then passes to loop of Henle. From the loop of Henle the waste products that is urea excess of salt, excess of water then passes to DCT that is distal convoluted tubule and from DCT the urine finally passes to collecting duct. It is inside the collecting duct all the urine is collected. From the collecting duct the urine passes to the two tubes which are known as ureter. From ureter urine passes to urinary bladder. Inside the bladder the urine is stored till the time we go to the toilet and the relaxation of muscles surrounding the urinary bladder leads to the release of urine from the urinary bladder through urethra. So this is how urine is produced and excreted out from the body by human excretory system. Let's quickly revise everything. Human excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys, a pair of tubes known as ureter, a bag called urinary bladder and a tube which is known as urethra. Kidneys consist of the functional unit called nephron which are the main site for excretion. Inside the nephron a tuft of capillaries is present which is known as glomerulus and inside which the blood is filtered. Now the waste products from the glomerulus passes to PCT that is proximal convoluted tubule. Inside the PCT selective reabsorption of salts water takes place and excess of salt water and urea which cannot be reabsorbed by the PCT then passes to loop of Henle. From loop of Henle these waste products passes to DCT and finally to collecting duct and from collecting duct the urine that is all the waste products combined together passes to ureter then to urinary bladder and finally released from urethra. So this is all about the process of excretion. I hope you are clear with the content. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.